Michelle, this is my mukbang, and you're watching Jamily TV. If this is your first time here, please consider hitting the subscribe button right over there, right down that way. And if you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back to watch some more. So today's mukbang is from Crush. If you're not familiar with Crush, it's one of Upolu's only vegan restaurants. The whole thing is entirely vegan. So it's completely meat free and completely even egg free. The food that we have today is super delicious. Um, I've had it before and I hope you guys like it too. Man, but you know, eating all this vegan food, I really wish that I had Alicia to join me for this mukbang. Maybe, you know, maybe if I can kiss the air a little bit. Hey! So we got Felicia joining us today. Otherwise known as Alicia. <laughs> but we call her Felicia. We'll tell you that story later. Okay, so um, today's mukbang, like I said, it's from Crush. K-R-U-S-H. And it's really delicious. So we don't know what's in these boxes. Well, we know what's in the boxes, but we don't know like what's actually in each of these boxes. So we're opening up for the first time here. So we've only had a few of their menu items, but we love their smoothies and juices. And we got some additional menu items that we haven't tried before, but we're excited. They look very tasty. And I don't know if you guys remember, Joe mentioned it a little while ago, but um, I actually cut sugar and all types of flour out of my diet recently. Yeah, it's not the most awesome thing, but I have a few like autoimmune issues that eating this way helps with. So there aren't many mukbangs I can actually eat with Joe because you guys see what he eats. So I'm excited that Crush actually has a lot of menu items that I can eat and they were really nice. We messaged them and they're like, oh, like they identified the menu items that would work and that was really awesome of them. So thanks guys. Yep, awesome customer service over there. Okay, so right here we have what's called a taro lentil burger. So you get the taro with some lentil beans, some cucumbers, tomatoes, tomatoes, sauce, lettuce, and carrot shavings. And then on this side, we have the kalo fries. So those are taro fries. Right here, we have the burrito bowl minus the tortilla. The tortilla is on the side. But check it out, looks pretty delicious. Here's the Thai coconut curry. And last but not least, the luau sushi. So let's dig in. So let's start with the presentation. Oh, forgot, the best part of the meal. This is the best part for me of the meal. This is called the Chunky Monkey, and it's a smoothie made out of Coco Samoa. And this is called a mint sasa, which is made out of soursop, or sasa lapa, as it is called in Samoa, and some mint. So, all right, time to dig in. Yum. Got some soy sauce and wasabi to go along with the sushi. What's in the luau sushi is shiitake mushroom, luau, cucumber, and avocado in rice in rice with a uh, nori wrap. I think it's called nori, I think. Anyway, looks delicious. Let's get some soy sauce in there. So I have the burrito bowl without the tortilla, which would probably be really delicious with the tortilla. But you can see kidney beans and potatoes and rice and onions. There's also carrots and cabbage and lettuce on the side. This is delicious. Soy sauce always makes everything better. It's actually a good a good balance of flavors. You can tell uh, that the luau uh, is, is a quality ingredient to be added to the, to the sushi. Yeah. Super yum. I'm gonna use, there's lettuce, little lettuce in here that I can use like a little wrap. Mm. House made aioli sauce, looks delicious. I'm just using it for the taro fries. Hmm. Interesting. The cow fries are actually really, they're very firm. Um, a little bit of a crunch to them, but not, not like a bunch, but nice weight. The aioli sauce is delicious. Yeah. All right, time to hit the taro lentil burger. I kind of showed it to you a little bit, but I'll give you a side view so that you can kind of get a better idea what the side looks like. Check out that burger. The bun is nice, and you gotta remember, 
The bun is dairy free and egg free also. Wow. Yeah, that's delicious. Look at that bite. Yeah. Mmm. Kind of update you guys on my weight. At the end of last mukbang, I think I weighed 272.4. And at the beginning of this mukbang, I weighed 266.8. So I've lost a little bit of weight um, since the beginning of last mukbang. I a half pound or something like that. So since the end of last month, bang, I've lost like 5.8 pounds. And me not eating any sugar or any flour products for two months, I've lost eight pounds. <laughs> She's doing awesome. Um, She's not exercising every day like I am. <laughs> honest right here pulling back the curtain um so I exercised for a little bit in the beginning but I haven't been good more sushi I haven't been good for the last several weeks as far as exercise is concerned just been really busy and I told you in the beginning man that little hour really good you really taste it in there actually comes through even more than the nori does, which is the seafood wrap for those of you that don't eat sushi. It's actually really delicious. Man. And I don't know how many things we got, but I think there's like one, two, three, four, five, six. I think there's like 10 pieces in here, 12 pieces for 13 tala. Good deal. And the burger was 10 tala. Great deal on that burger. The tower chips are six tala. The curry, is 25 tala and the burrito bowl is 20 tala and the smoothies are each 20 tala which sounds like a lot but in the states that's like eight dollars or something yeah and they're huge and you can honestly drink one as a meal and they're delicious i'm not sure how big this is i think it's 32 ounces is my guess yeah 32 ounces so good deal yeah, these tar chips are really, really good. I've seen tar chips at other places, not shoestring chips like this. They're usually like just like potato chips or something, but these are awesome. So you look inside. And then they have a nice little spice on it. The green is, is um, from the burger actually. Some sort of sauce from the burger. Okay. So we found out a little bit of bad news. Nothing that can't be fixed easily. This is actually the dressing for Alicia's burrito bowl. So it's not very much. It's maybe like an ounce of dressing. And that's just not enough for for a whole burrito bowl. And especially when like there's you need something to dip the taro chips in. I mean, not necessarily you don't. Uh, some people like their fries and stuff without any kind of sauce. But if you're a sauce guy like me, like Felicia, then you definitely need some more sauce than just this little sauce here. So we'll give them that feedback. I'm sure they'll hook it up for you guys. So cool story. Um, today I was running early actually <laughs> to go pick up Zara from school. So me and Noli stopped by Rosie's Burgers and we met two ladies in there who actually went to Rosie's only because of the mukbang. That was really awesome. Um, it was awesome to meet you, Megan. Awesome to meet you, Sally. And we'll see you at Rosie's sometime in the future again. They were so sweet. They knew the girls' names and everything. So, some of you may think salad doesn't look super exciting, but in Samoa, I love when I find a place that has salad because they're actually pretty rare here. They do grow a couple of types of local lettuce, but romaine and iceberg those are imported and they're very expensive by expensive what we mean is the traditional iceberg head of lettuce is like right around 15 to 18 tala per head which translates to about five or six dollars us which is like double the price that we're used to it just seems like a lot when you 
say Tala. <laughs> you see the price on there? Because they don't really sell it with the price on there. Yeah, they say 35 Tala per kilo. Time to finish this lentil burger. Kalo burger. Joe's cousin and his wife are from Samoa. And a few years ago, they came from Samoa to live with us in Texas for a little bit. The first week, I think we had salad every night to go with our dinner. And his cousin's wife was like, I haven't eaten this much salad in my whole life. <laughs> I was like, what? But now I get it, Sana. I get it. <laughs> the struggle is real. Mm. Speaking of food struggles, if you didn't see our struggle with watermelon, you can watch that video right here. Yeah, we had a lot of fun making that. One of my favorite Samoan songs is Tofa My Fileni, which means goodbye, my friend. Shortly after we moved here, I learned that the word for watermelon is malengi, which rhymes with fileni, and I like to write parodies, so instantly I thought of Tofa My Malengi because something else that's super crazy expensive are watermelons we saw a watermelon in the store which is in the video for 84 tala 84 tala it's like 35 bucks for one watermelon one watermelon so we don't really eat watermelon anymore <laughs> here's the worst tragedy of that story we bought the watermelon on a tuesday because we found a nice big one. We didn't know if we'd find one again. We were supposed to film the following Saturday, so we kept it in our fridge. We were excited to eat it after filming, but we didn't get to film that Saturday, and we didn't film for another like week and a half, I think. The watermelon stayed in our fridge the whole time, but by the time we filmed, it was rotten inside. Mafu. Mafu. So we didn't even get to eat the watermelon that we bought for 80 Tala. <laughs> Sorry, I'm stealing your aioli sauce. Okay, so technically the lentil burger, the Tala fries, and the sushi was for me. And the Coco, what's this called? Coco Loco? Chunky Monkey. Chunky Monkey. Fukumano <laughs> <laughs> the chunky monkey um, was for me, but Alicia Coca so uh, Alicia eats much slower than I do, so I'm gonna start eating this Thai curry here. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, got a surprise over here. You should mm. have like mukbang dance time. No. Tell Joe he should dance. Mm, 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 mm. Here's the Thai coconut curry. So it looks really delicious. Got some brown rice over there. Get it up close to my face. So I don't actually know what's in here. It looks like green beans and carrots. And I don't know if this is... Woo! Nice little spice there. I don't think Alicia's gonna be able to handle this actually. I can handle spice, yo. And then some... Is that basil? Must be basil. Okay, I guess I'll eat that. That's delicious. Nice, nice little flavor there. Alicia made me a burrito. What's it called? Burrito bowl. Burrito bowl. What's in it? Potatoes, carrots, beans, kapisi, alisa, onions. So, definitely need more sauce. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they give you more sauce, like, you know, if you're in store versus, you know, Take doing away. takeaway. That's a common thing, um, I think, even in the States, because they have no idea how much sauce you're going to eat. Oops. But probably, for me, the right amount of sauce, there's probably like four of these things, maybe, for the burrito. The curry is spicy, but it's tasty. There's no Thai food on the island, and Thai is like our favorite. So if you know how to make really good Thai food, please come open a Thai restaurant. I particularly would like some Tom Ka, some Masaman curry. Joe likes the Pad Siu. Pad Siu, Pad Kimau, Pad Thai, chicken satay. So I poured some soy sauce in here. I see what the soy sauce is like. Yep, that's delicious. Okay, so 
The thing about soy sauce goes a long way. So you don't need much to really spice this thing up. Here, look. Mm-hmm, 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 mm -hmm. Just like Joey, you only need a little bit to spice up your life. Oh. But she is a lot. <laughs> Lucky me. Wanna see the smoothie? Look at that. Oh, man. So tasty. So this is probably my favorite smoothie there, but I didn't get it this time because they don't add any sugar to their smoothies. I think they actually call this one a shake. It's sweetened with dates and bananas. Holy cow. <laughs> Holy Bovi. This one has peanut butter in it and most peanut butter has sugar in it. So I'm, I'm just a little jealous right now. Also impressed. All gone, 32 ounces. Joe's smoothie drinking skills. Now I'm gonna drink Alicia's smoothie. Lay I pop it tight. I don't eat right handed, so if you see me looking challenged, it's because Joe's in the way of my left hand. Yeah. That's delicious. Cleanse the palate a little bit. Look at this fun straw too. If you don't know, Samoa recently banned plastic. Not all plastic, but plastic straws, plastic shopping bags. Anyway, this is a paper straw. That is so tasty. Mm. So sasalapa or soursop is one of the healthiest fruits on the planet. There's actually a lot of research on sasalapa helping with cancer, with a lot of health ailments. This also has mint, I think, maybe new. The mint is powerful. It's, mm -hmm. it's a really good blend and balance of mint and sasalapa. So as I was walking out, I saw this awesome brownie. I was like, can I have that too or is that for someone else? And she said, nope, it's for you. Again, dairy-free, egg-free. Look at how delicious it looks. Oh yeah. I have no idea what goes into this. Um, I don't think it's in the menu. Man, super chocolatey, very thick, nice and fudgy. I do wish for a little bit more powdered sugar on the top. Surprise, surprise. Mm -hmm. I wish, I wish I knew what, what the ingredients were. Man. Yeah, that's good. Uh -huh. <laughs> I thought it went in the soy sauce. I thought you said soy sauce was great on everything. Soy sauce and brownies is not okay. <laughs> this is just a small selection of menu items. They also have paninis, subs, pizzas. I can't eat any of those things, so we didn't try them today, but they look very tasty if you can eat them. Crush has an extensive menu and you can see that right here. We forget about going to them for food sometimes because we always just want a smoothie from there. But if you're looking for healthy food options, they are one of the best on the island. They're not open super late though. So they're open 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday and then 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Saturday. They have nice hours of operation, but again, you're not going to be able to enjoy their tasty food um, for dinner time. So make sure you get there early. Mm -hmm. Let me go weigh myself, find out exactly how much I've gained today. So I weighed 271.2 now after eating eating and drinking here uh, today for lunch. I think I weighed 266.4 before I started eating today. So I think that means I've gained 4.8 pounds from today. So I'm going to try and get down to under 266. I know that that's not it's not a ton. It's only like a half pound, but I'm going to try and get under 266 this week. And and keep in mind I haven't seen the 259.9 in like 
15 years. So this is going to be kind of cool momentous as we as we inch our way towards that weight. Something else about Crush, it's not in Apia proper. It's on Cross Island Road, just below Vilema when you're going up the mountain. It's a nice place if you're heading over Cross Island Road to get to the south side of the island for the day or something. It's a nice place to stop, get a healthy lunch before you go over. So if you know where Linz is, a lot of people know where Linz is. If you know where Linz and Giordano's is, just come away from the hospital and at that T intersection, take a right headed up the mountain. And it's as soon as you take that right, it's right there on the left. Their sign is a little bit old, but then they just got a new sign that they put in front. And it's actually super, super popular with like the doctors and nurses that are um, from overseas that are interning over here at the Mokokua Hospital. If you end up having like a medical emergency, that's the best place to have a medical emergency because there's always doctors and nurses there. <laughs> All right, so if you guys enjoyed this mukbang, please consider giving us a thumbs up and hitting this subscribe button right over this away. And big thanks to Felicia for joining us today. Oh, we didn't tell you why we call her Felicia. So when we used to work together about 20 years ago, before we got married even, there was this lady and she was the, like the sweetest lady ever. And she's from Kentucky and I can't do the accent very well, but Alicia. <laughs> With my mouth full. Felicia, how are you doing today? You just look so cute. You always so cute, Felicia. I know your name's not Felicia. I don't know why I keep calling you that. I know it's Alicia. Sorry, Felicia. Alicia. <laughs> so she would like literally say that almost like every single day. So now the kingdom calls her Felicia all the time. So and anyway, her name is actually Alicia. A-L-I-S-H-A. She does all the editing. I get all the credit. Sorry, babe, but it's all Alicia yeah. that does the editing. I just do the filming and she makes everything look awesome. So big props to her. Give us a big thumbs up. Comment down below what your favorite restaurant is in Samoa so that we can come and visit it. And also, sorry I couldn't do the umu mukbang today. Uh, my auntie makes the best palusami and the best uh, and the best oka, but she wasn't available to to do that to make that for me today. So I, I, I'll have that for sure for you guys next week. Until then, Manuelaso, Fazoivua.